welcome to engineering study materials today we are going to discuss about the sol gel process so let's get into this video sol gel process is a particular process for the fabrication of the ceramic matrix composites though it is an easy process it also it also has the certain disadvantages the sol gradually evolves towards the formation of a gel like diphasic system so what is a diphasic system one phase consists of a reinforcement and other phase consists of a matrix or a liquid. When this undergoes the polymerization process, it forms a gel-like structure and finally when it is heated in a furnace, we can get the ceramic matrix composite. So this is this discussed or described in this para. When sol is converted to gel, polymerization takes place as a result of evaporation and catalytic reactions. When metal alkoxide solution is the base component, it is coated on the zero gel film and when it is heated, it forms a dense film like structure. And when the metal alkoxide solution is hydrolysis under, under wall, when the sol is precipitated, it forms the uniform particles and it, it forms the gel like appearance as the wet gel and when it evaporates while heating, it forms a dense ceramic then when the sol is heated in a furnace by the process of spinning operation it forms a ceramic fibers then the fabrication of the cmc by sol gel process it involves the preparation of the matrix from a liquid colloidal suspension of fine ceramic particles that is a sol which soaks a preform that is the reinforcement and then then mixes together, undergoes some reactions, chemical or catalytic reactions and then transforms to a solid or gel. This colloidal suspension is formed as a result of the chemical reactions when very small particles with radii up to 100 nanometer precipitate within a liquid, water or an organic solvent can be used as a liquid. Then aluminum matrix ceramic composites may be prepared from the alumina gel which forms in hydrolysis process of the aluminum oxides. Uh, from aluminum oxides, we can get the alumina gel. Then liquid sol having the low viscosity easily penetrates into a preform. The infiltrant preform is then dried. Drying operations cause a shrinkage of the matrix material and, uh, and includes the formation of the pores. So this is the greatest disadvantage in this process. Therefore, infiltration drying cycle is repeated several times under the desired density is achieved. The resulting material is fired and hot pressed. Sometimes parts of intrinsic shapes may be produced by sol gel process. So this is a short video friends. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please click the subscribe button for more videos so thank you for watching